All right, so as some of you guys may know, I am moving to Colorado. And actually, by the time you guys see this, I will already be out there. But because I'm leaving for Colorado, I'm leaving the truck behind so it can tow the boats and the four wheelers and the dirt bikes and all these things that we have here. Since I am leaving the truck, I had to go out and buy a new vehicle to drive not only 1,600 miles out to Colorado, but also to use as a daily driver out there. Naturally, I went with what everyone else would do, a nice, reliable, basic, you know, good on gas car, and I bought a massively lifted Jeep Wrangler with 35 inch tires. All right, guys, super quick. I'm gonna take a break in the video to tell you about today's video sponsor, AG1. AG1 is daily nutrition made very simple. It is made up of 75 whole food source ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, and probiotics to nourish your body's entire system. I get it, nutrition can be very confusing, but AG1 truly does simplify it. It's actually so easy. We're gonna be showing you how to do it while driving the Jeep down some trails. All we're gonna do, get our AG1 bottle, gonna grab ourselves some water. I like to do about 10 milliliters of water every time. Couple potholes, it's not a big deal. Once we get our water, take our packet, dump it in our bottle here, cap it. Then we're gonna give it a good shake and mix it up. And then once it's all good and mixed up, you can enjoy it with your lovely Colorado Trail view. Simple as that. So guys, make sure you head over to athleticgreens.com forward slash Liam Reed to get started on your order. And with that code or with the link in the description, you're gonna get a one year free supply of vitamin D3 K2, as well as five free travel packs with your order. Again, guys, it's athleticgreens.com forward slash Liam Reed. Thank you so much to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. And now back to showing you the Jeep. Two days ago, I ended up finding this for sale and it was down in Maryland. So me and my dad took the trip down to Maryland to go pick it up. Driving the truck down was like, the best, it's super comfortable. Driving this back is like the most dangerous experience you ever had in your life. 75 miles an hour and it feels like you're gonna die and every bump throws you all over. It sounds like you're in a spaceship. Yeah, dude, it does sound like you're in a spaceship. So all right, well, this is gonna be my daily and I have to drive it 1600 miles literally tomorrow. So I don't wanna beat the crap out of this, but it is a Jeep, so I think we gotta take it off road, right? We gotta Fact. do some. Oh, this is gonna be super easy to get into. Oh, dude, it's so it's so comfy. Jeez, that's all I got for it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, no. get in there, Creston. Uh, oh yeah. Why do I wait? Why am I getting into that? Oh, he's fine back there. You don't mind? Two hands on the wheel. I'm yeah. off roading, man. Damn. Probably gonna want to put it in four wheel. Get on my Jeep. Oh. It's so slippery, man. It's not my fault. We have to back it down and give her a little bit more steam to make it up. No big deal. Slight, <laughs> slight spin in on it. You wanna get out, little boy? You're standing on your phone. Woo! 
can literally stand on top of it trying to get out. Nice dry swing to sit on. Solid view. Probably looks kind of sick up The there. hills, the jeep, his ass is in that shot. All right guys, so this is a 2013 Jeep Wrangler Sport. It has about 49,000 original miles up front. We have just a big aftermarket bumper. I don't really know too much about it, but some D-shackles, front and 35s. Got some XD series rims on it that just look pretty good all the way around. Got these upgraded steps or running boards, whatever you want to call them on either side. Full size spare on the back with the rim and everything. Got some smoke tail light. So inside the Jeep, same kind of thing. It's relatively basic. You just got just a Kenwood head unit in here that has like navigation. You got some like different like grab handles. Like the guy, you know, did some pretty decent things to it. Crank windows, nice and simple. Solid. And not distracting when you're going down the highway trying to turn. Has an amp under the seat, so it has a little bit better sound and system, but. It's tuned. Yeah, that is the other thing. So apparently it has this flash super chip i don't know some kind of ecu tune on it so it does have a little bit of a different uh like power wise under the hood here pretty underwhelming but it does have this big honking can and cold air intake which kind of sounds pretty sick uh when you're when you're driving it oh and it's got upgraded i don't know if these are halos leds i think they are led headlights so you don't die at night like most jeeps then it's also running, I think a three inch lift is what the guy said, all the way around, obviously. So that's the new Jeep. <laughs> all right, since the truck is being left behind and I'm taking the Jeep to Colorado, we're gonna get it all washed down and prepped because we're gonna stuff it in the right bay of the shop. Uh, and I wanna leave it with like all this salt and stuff on it from the winter. Probably the worst foam cannon I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's a real long hose. But... <laughs> yeah, that's good for it. <laughs> it's so cold in New York. <laughs> So on this truck, it's got all these little dimples. I love these like rust iron spots that are all over the paint. So to get rid of these, I've been trying to get rid of them. Apparently you're supposed to use something with like this, which is an iron remover. Uh, so we're gonna spray that down because I don't want these to get worse in storage. And then once we spray these down, they all convert. Then we can uh, pull the truck in and it's done until I'm back. Why is it? Are you supposed to scrub it in? Uh, Are you supposed to let it soak? Oh, dude, it smells like eggs. It smells like eggs? You. Like someone farted and they tried to cover it up with <laughs> When it turns purple, that's how you know it's working. And then um, once the whole thing like reacts, whatever, one to five minutes, then we just rinse it off and it's supposed to get rid of it all. Well, it kind of, it got rid of, I think, like what it was supposed to, but apparently there's still stuff in here because there's, there's specks everywhere. <laughs> Didn't kill it. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I help sometimes. Holy cow. What a strong man you are. Five inches. Keep coming. Keep coming. Start swinging hard. Jesus. Got her in, baby. Yeah. Hips doesn't fit. Fine. Take then it you off. Pull that and then. Plenty of clearance. Barely clears. Woo! Perfecto. Dude, it's like <laughs> it barely cleared the license plate thing. <laughs> I know. I told. <laughs> I told you. Holy crap. You, bro. No. Moment of truth. Go do plenty of room. room. Ooh, What's that with room? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, money! There's plenty of room. So in the last video, you guys saw that we rearranged the whole shop. This is why. So the truck goes in this side. This one's still available. All you gotta do is pull the other car out. And there's like all the tools and everything because my dad's a freeloader and comes in and breaks my tools and uses my wash and uses my oils and everything uh, and drinks all my beer. So that is, uh, we left it so that way he can still come in here and, and freeload it up. I'm sure it's gonna be like a bomb one off when I get back. Jason, you gonna be devastated I'm gone? Yeah, I'm freezing my butt off filming. Yeah, that's true. Jason now gets a one month vacation. Paid vacation? Not paid vacation. Darn. All right, guys, stay tuned for all the Colorado videos. We're gonna try and do some cool stuff out there and- um, See you guys right. in a month. Yeah, see you in a month. Oh,